Kim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we will install TensorFlow for the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get to work. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about setting our environment up. The first thing that we want to do is turn on all the CPUs. To do that, sudo nvp model. We'll go with mode two. Next, let's open up our system resources here. System monitor. We can see that all six CPUs are online. We also have a swap memory of 10 gigabytes set up. I have that on the attached SSD. Building TensorFlow is quite the challenge. This is probably the most challenging project we've done here. We have convenience scripts available to help us. In the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named install TensorFlow TX2. Let's clone that. and switch over to that directory. This is a multi-step process. We'll go down here in the readme file a little bit. Our first step is to install the prerequisites. This includes Java and a whole bunch of other stuff. You must agree to the license available if you want to use the Oracle JDK. Okay. Do you accept the Oracle binary code license terms? Yes. Build successful, binary is here. Okay, now we're ready to start in on TensorFlow itself. Let's get it from GitHub. And we'll patch it up at the same time. All patched up. Now we are ready to set up the TensorFlow environment variables. Let's take a look at that. This basically goes through and answers all the questions that the configurator would ask you. This is where you might want to come back and set it up more to your liking. Set TensorFlow EV.sh. Input the desired Python library to use. Default. OK. Configuration finished. And now we are ready to actually start building TensorFlow. This will take a while. Okay, now that we have TensorFlow built, we can package it up. Package TensorFlow.
Okay, let's go over to the home directory. And now let's install the wheel file. Installation complete. Okay, let's close this window and run a couple of tests. Okay, now we're ready to validate our TensorFlow installation. We start a terminal. Python. Import TensorFlow as TF. That's good. Mom, baby. Moment of truth. Hello, TensorFlow. It works. If the system generates an error message instead of a greeting, see the next section. We don't have to do that. If the Python program outputs the following, then the installation is successful and you can begin writing TensorFlow programs. That's us. Hello, TensorFlow. Thanks for watching. Thank you.